How's it going everyone, it's Vivi and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts. So in yesterday's video I said that the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross team would have a special announcement at 8pm Eastern Time. I thought maybe it'd be like a console port of Union Cross, seeing as how the game is popular and very very sustainable, or maybe even an HD cinematics, or if we go more towards the extreme route, a 3D remake. I know that one sounds way too big. Well, their announcement, well, it's basically a new mobile game. Yes, another one. This new upcoming mobile title is planned to get released in spring 2020, codenamed Project Xehanort, how he became the Seeker of Darkness. Hey, I'm very pleased that we're getting some backstory. Heck, Nomura wanted more backstory to be implemented in console games, at least that's what he was implying if I'm not mistaken. His exact quote from the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimania is as follows. We are interested in why Xehanort would come to such a conclusion. Nomura, at first I didn't want to use a next game to dig down into how Xehanort went from that simple boy playing the chess-like game to an admirer of the darkness. But if I do that, then the Dark Seeker Chronicle wouldn't have ended with Kingdom Hearts 3 after all. Some ideas had solidified, to a degree, but it's shelved for now. Cage 3 was marketed as the end of the Dark Seeker saga, correct? Nomura doesn't want to stray away from that and cause massive fan outrage or something. Instead, it seems the idea of expanding on Xehanort's origins is worth exploring via a mobile game. And my thoughts on this? I'm disappointed. Well, Vivi, you said it yourself. Cage 3 was the end of the Xehanort saga. Why do you want another console game covering his backstory? Look, if you want to be factual, it's currently the end of Xehanort being the main villain in the series. Hence the terms, the end of the Dark Seeker saga. Kingdom Hearts is not over, not by a long shot. If Nomura wants to expand on Xehanort's past while focusing on another new villain, well, you can't call it the Xehanort saga again. Sure, Xehanort's implemented in some sort of way, but we have a new foe to face, not Xehanort. It's not a saga anymore. What disappoints me about all this is, they're surely going to dive deep into Xehanort's lore in a mobile game. How sure are you? You're saying they're gonna have a bunch of plot points in a mobile game? Absolutely. Look at Union Cross. It's the same team working on Project Xehanort. Union Cross is in dire need of at least an HD cinematic. It sucks that plot points are locked behind a mobile game. Like the cutscene with Xemnas in KH3, speaking to Demix, Luxord, and Lark, seeing how they're connected to the Age of Fairy Tales, that right there is Union Cross. And Ephemera showing up the light of the past. That's a character from Union Cross, a mobile game. Well, actually, he did appear in back cover that uh, HD cinematic, but I'm just saying. The style of gameplay of Project Xehanort, seeing as how it's going to get developed by the same team as Union Cross, well, it worries me. I stopped playing Union Cross a long time ago due to its repetitiveness. I simply watch cutscenes and keep up to date with the lore. Everglow, Catherine Moeller, and Gold Panner do a fantastic job at providing us with translated cutscenes. This whole thing about the mobile games with Square Enix these days, it feels like uh, the stuff we had back in the day. Remember when we had a bunch of games on different handhelds? It feels like it's now happening with mobile devices. Why? Because it's easily accessible, a bunch of people download a bunch of apps, and people spend money on these apps. So for them it's for sure beneficial. The only reason they're supporting another mobile game is because it's profitable. No other reason for it. So yeah, they thought of making another mobile game. Focusing on Xehanort's past. I love the idea, but why a mobile game? I would much rather see his backstory in a console game, yes. They're doing this because, as I just said, it's beneficial. Number one, it's Kingdom Hearts. It's gonna sell. And two, look at here, on the main website of Project Xehanort. For iOS, Amazon phones, Android, in-app purchases. Union Cross already has this. So does it uh, ring a bell for you? You're probably asking yourselves, why another mobile game? It looks obvious. By the way, Project Xehanort has an official Twitter page right now. If you want to follow them, go ahead. Why? Because of two things. To be kept up to date with them, and two, there's a guessing contest. According to their official website, Guess the Name Campaign. The Guess the Name Twitter campaign is here. If you can guess what the name of the upcoming Project Xehanort title is, you can win big. 
All instructions are listed below. This contest lasts until January 28th. The contest doesn't want you to guess the title 100%, but make a very close guess is what they're looking for. There will be 10 winners, and that's basically it. So with that being said, folks, this is it for the video. In the comment section below, tell me what you think about this new mobile game. Are you fond of them? Would you rather have preferred a console game to delve into Xehanort's past? Tell me. Alright, so as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.